can never really find a good sound effect of a guy getting hit in the head with a shovel. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in our soup de jour? Shut the fuck up, you goddamn fuckhole! You piece of shit! All right, Jim, so what happened last night? Um, well, as you all know, I'm a, I'm a frightened, lonely man. Mm -hmm. So I have a massage girl that I wanted to see, and um, I canceled my spot at the comedy, so it was going to be too late. So I'm like, what am I going to do from 7 o'clock till like 9.30? And uh, I had her come over, and I took a Levitra, because that's how bad I am. It's like I feel like my dick has to be rock solid for a massage girl who I'm paying. What's the difference between a uh, Levitra or uh, Viagra? Well, funny you should ask, Aunt. Levitra doesn't destroy your nose as bad. Viagra gives you, like when I was in Your Brazil, nose? It, your it nose? It makes you congested. Horribly congested. Uh, like when I was in Brazil, I was doing 100 milligrams of Viagra a day, um, which is like that will keep you hard four days after you're dead. Uh, <laughs> and then just banging three hookers in a, in a row. I would bang three yeah. hookers in a row in Brazil. So coming back, I got Levitra. And uh, it doesn't make your nose as stuffed, and it gives you a nicer erection. That's I like it better. Nicer? In what way? Um, it's just it's it, more it, juicy. Yeah, it's got it's a look firmer, better, and it's easier to finish with. I couldn't bust on uh, hundred milligrams of Viagra. You can't bust. You're hard no. for hours. But yo, you, you can't bust, yo. Well, yeah, I'm trying to say it nice. I bust a nut, yo. Um, now it, maybe I just can't hear myself uh, talking, but I, I can't hear out of these headphones. Yeah, you got to get closer to the mic again, too. No, no, I can't hear out of the headphones. Great. Great. Now, I can hear that, but I can't hear that. So we'll put him there. We'll just talk. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so the massage girl comes over last night, and uh, I can't <laughs> I can't breathe because I took the Levitra, which makes my nose stuffy. Yeah. So I pop Zycam. Um, so she, you know, what she, is that? It's a, it's a nose spray, which clears you up. Oh, okay. I'm a, you know what a fucking mess I am? Wow. You medicate a lot for somebody that uh, doesn't do drugs. No, none of them are narcotics. None of them are narcotics. But that's why my nose is stuffy today. So I took Zycam last night, and then I slept. None of them are narcotics, but do you realize you're you dependent could have on some kind things. of dependency, some chemical dependency to, to get hard-ons with, with medication? And no, 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 no. I just wanted it to be particularly lovely while she was here. <laughs> for I what wanted... reason? So she'd look at it and not be able to ignore it. Because no nothing is worse when you're getting a massage than hoping she gets the hint. But you, you know what I mean? You want to be firm because if it's just laying there like a paraplegic slug, <laughs> she's going to think you're not interested and she's not going to touch it. Okay. So you have to be ready. You have to be physically, uh, you know, you got to be erect. Was it an Asian girl? No, I don't mess with the Asians. The only time I ever did Why? an Asian. They bug me with their submission and their stupid, f they're just awful. They do nothing you for You want me. a take charge kind of gal? No, I just want somebody that doesn't have the same dumb deadpan look on her face, whether she's smiling, happy, or indifferent. You can never tell how Asians feel. Stupid plastic Halloween mask faces. They don't make any expressions. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, could you be a person? I'm not being mean. I got one in a massage parlor. I went in this place in Jersey, and I'm banging her, and she's got her stupid eyes closed, I think. You can never really tell. <laughs> are your eyes closed, or are they wide open with surprise? I can't tell. There's only an eighth of an inch difference. <laughs> You rotten POW torturing whore. Wow. And she's looking the other way while I'm on top of her. She's got her eyes closed and she's looking the other way. Uh. And I'm like, I'm not expecting you to enjoy this, but could you at least not act like you're paying off a slave ship debt? <laughs> <laughs> For Christ's sake, how awful. She just looked horrified. Not even horrified, just like she was in pain. She didn't want to be there. It was actually an honest expression. That's how you should look if I'm on top of you with my <laughs> fat tits dangling over your $100 making face. <laughs> Yeah. But they don't do anything for me, the Asians. They don't do anything for me. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Yes, no, that's everyone's got their uh, own little tastes yeah. and stuff. You're like, I touch. you like, you touch. You're like, no. no, I don't. Yeah. yeah. What do you like? Like, what, what race is, is good for you? American Indians, uh, women. I love them because they. <laughs> Where the hell do Where you the hell find do you them? What are those? Where are you, New Mexico for a horse? You know how easy they are? You just got to drive down the street with a bottle hanging out the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like them because... Hang out outside the casinos. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, is I, that I where you get them? I like larger, as you guys all know, I like larger... I'm not even being nasty. I like larger lips in certain areas. I like yeah. larger lips. And American, Native American women have that. That goes big. They do, like yeah. a big buffalo. Wait, wait yeah. where do you find the Native American women in New York City? You really don't find them anywhere. Um, but like when I hear a girl say that she's part American, thank you, buddy. When I hear a girl say she's part American Indian, I'm like, I know she's gonna have like you know, yeah. camel toe. You can see through a comforter, and that's what I prefer. <laughs> <laughs>
like you like to say, you want it to look like a chimp's face. Yeah, I like I like the type of vagina <laughs> that could just as easily fit onto a brontosaurus. <laughs> just like when you pull your panty aside, I actually want it to flop Thanks, out buddy. and go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it. I want to hear right. your droopy. Like when you, I, I like when a girl tells me, like, you know, I was so embarrassed to get dressed in front of other girls in high school. I had to face the locker. I get clear stuff coming out when I hear. Really? That. Yeah, because I know it's just a big meaty mess. You like that? I love that. You like it to look like uh, Abner Loima with his head turned <laughs> sideways? <laughs> I understand. Oh, I really. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I want it to look. I want it to look like it just got punched. Like, Jesus, who just punched you in the van? You're swollen. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Big... Like you get a cold compresses for her. Had a just concern. <laughs> like, like I want it to look like her vagina just smoked an exploding cartoon cigar. <laughs> 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 to me, that gotcha. is sexy. That's hot. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. So now you got this uh, girl, this massage girl, and you have a raging one because of the uh, yeah, Levitra. Levitra. And, uh, Which, by the way, the Levitra commercials are awful, isn't it? With the one with the uh, the the guy and and his um his wife or girl or whatever it is, and she goes, it gives him uh, more um, what does she call it? She doesn't even call it like a hard on or something. Of course not. That would be honest honesty in advertising. No, you're not gonna say that. Yeah, because he gets a better gives erection more, or gives him more pep, a, more quality. That is, it, yeah. it gives him a. a a, a quality erection that he's looking for. Do they say erection, though? No, not no, even. No, they androgynous words that could mean anything. Yeah, really, it's awful. And the guy just looks like, oh, my God, yeah. you just know what was happening before he got the Levitra. Yeah, this... Like, she's just completely unsatisfied. He's got a limp noodle between his legs. Quality she's looking counter, at the pool boy. That's how Ugh. they should sell Levitra, by the way. They should show, like, a really strapping young black guy with a white chick, and they should say, are you tired of this happening? Take this pill, you, you Eastern European fairy. <laughs> so you, you get her, you're all juiced up on the uh, Levitra. Oh, yeah, and it looked really good. It, it looked did? Yeah, it had nice Very girth proud to of you. it. Oh, yeah, fantastic. And um, so she starts, you know, tugging, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then she's like, do you want to fuck? Wow. And I'm like, yeah. That's pretty forward. Yeah, I like that. She wasn't a shy girl. Chinese girl never would have said that. She would no. have closed her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whatever I wanted to do would have been satisfactory. <laughs> wow, she asked you if you wanted to. Great. In, ja in Japan, actually, they came out with the man pillow arm. Do you know what that is? No, what is that? Oh, it's I saw that in the paper the other day. It's a, it's a it's pillow. A, yeah. uh, not, well, it's a pillow, and it, and it has a man's arm, so the, the lady could kind of, like, you know, cuddle it. What? Yeah. It's a pillow. But it has a, a like a man's arm with a white glove coming on it, which is uh, I guess that's perfect in case you're a kid and you want to feel like you're being molested by a pop star. It's <laughs> <laughs> a white glove on the arm, <laughs> but you sleep on it, and I guess it feels like you're being cuddled. What lonely person is getting this? I, I, I really, it, how codependent are you? Did you say a uh, pillow with arm, alcoholic father not included? <laughs> <laughs> Why would anybody want to sleep like there's somebody else there? How about a pillow that wipes itself off and leaves as soon as you're finished? <laughs> Stupid Asian. That's horrible. Oh, what Asian people are using this? I've never yeah, heard of it. Was a, it was one of those stupid Japanese inventions. Yeah. They come up with all those stupid inventions over mm. there. And you know yeah. what the really depressing part is? Bob Dole's wife ran out and got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> she wakes up with pen writing all over her every morning <laughs> as he tries to grope her. <laughs> Bob I'm... Dole doesn't like it when you pull away from Bob Dole. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Levitra, that's why he took it for his arm. <laughs> wow. With Viagra, he used to sell. He was the Viagra sponsor. Yeah, he was the Viagra whore. That's right. <laughs> Don't you love Uncensored Radio? Sure. All the other DJs out there can't talk like this. But their equitment works. Yeah, their equipment so works. Trade off. But they can't say what they want to say. Oh, it's the commercial radio. I've done it all over the country. Because they're in sucks. chains. The FCC has them in chains. How's hey. your coffee, Jimmy? I see you just got your My medium Starbucks. iced latte from Starbucks. I want to thank the fine young strapping buck that ran out and got it. It was very nice. I know I, I've been a real prima donna dick today. I apologize. Part of it is I am very tired and I'm very not used yeah, to Yeah, we're all so, kind of all freaking right. about this. So schedule. how many nuts did you blow last night? One. Oh, but I did blow another one. <laughs> what was his name? <laughs> 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 I, uh, oh. Hey, I, are you actually using that machine now? I might give it a whirl occasionally. Look at that. I blew one, and then later on, I was talking to actually the girl who did yesterday, Jen, who did the uh, the uh, what's in my pants, yeah. right? Chit chatting online. Nothing you sexual. were, you know, something. How Opie? How long have we been on the air? 
Um, day two, two and a half days. Oh, three days. Not even three I had to days. Do the math in my head. And this was after two days on the air. He is already working it. That's why we didn't put a computer in front of him. I'm he, smart. He used our program to get laid so much. Yeah. He, and then the two years that we were on, I don't know how well tough crowd work for you getting uh, laid. Gee, not that Colin and, and those camel legs, as Bob Kelly calls them, doesn't attract a lot of women. <laughs> you know what? Those atrophied legs. We were on to your scam, though, bro. What scam? Uh, Norton, like, I, it's no secret that Norton and I are, are good friends off the air and stuff. He's like, I... You know, you guys gave gave me a great opportunity and stuff. You know, mm -hmm. I, I do tough crowd, but I'm not allowed to say what I want to say. And I, I go do this, and I'm not allowed. I do other radio shows. You know, he wants us to think, he, he you know, we he appreciates us because we allow him to say, you know, whatever he wants, right? Yeah. No, it's all about getting the pussy. That's it. All right, we so got you more pussy than anybody else. You did? Uh, you raised You don't point? give a flying f about uh, 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 being able to say what you want on our no, show. No, that's not true. I like creative freedom because the more creative freedom you have, the funnier you are. The funnier you are equals uh, all, bigger gigs. Bigger gigs equals more money, which equals more girls putting their mouth. All you care about a hepatitis dispenser. All you care <laughs> about that equals. All you care about after the show is you've got mail. Right. Yes. You've got. Sex addict, though, so now you were you. chatting with that uh, girl. Yeah, uh, her pictures she's are still so hot here. too. And uh, yeah, there, there she is. Yeah, she's pretty sexy. She there. sent me some pictures. Nothing really hardcore. Yeah. And um, after we talked, I just had mm. to scrap another one into a napkin, and I did. It was fantastic. By the way, after you spoke with her, you, you yeah, tossed one off on the. Yeah, just chatting into a normally. She was very nice, and uh, we were just chit chatting, bullshitting. A little chit chat, and uh, I had I still had that like three quarter Levitra rod. By the way, I, you know um, Eric Logan down in Washington, he's uh -huh. been text messaging me like crazy this morning during the show. Yeah, oh here comes another. Is that one you? In. Yeah, that's and it's Opie's phone. Why do you turn you the phone son of a bitch? Son no, but your phone's been making the noise in the headphones. Uh, no, uh, he just wanted to let us know that uh, Howard's losing his effing mind today because he can't do uh, his radio show. <laughs> Aww. See, we're uncensored over here. We we could do whatever the hell we want. We could curse. We could have. We were gonna have a girl masturbate today, uh, but the phones weren't working, so we I blew that opportunity. Uh, masturbation. Blew that opportunity. And, <laughs> and Eric Logan, our our big boss down in Washington. I'm so glad he listens to us uh, over over Howard. Obviously, I, I he hate doesn't. these clones, Robin. But he. Uh, I invented the uh, inhale exhale thing, and uh, now everyone does. They call it breathing. <laughs> See, I that was me. I knew that we would start driving everyone else nuts because mm -hmm. when people start figuring out that Opie and Anthony are on XM Satellite Radio doing an uncensored show, it's going to drive Howard, Don, and Mike, the rest of them, absolutely nuts. Yeah, because because uh, they can't compete with this. No, they have to adhere to the rules. Oh, no, the service. rules. I was going to read some of the 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 uh, text messages I'm getting. But, uh, 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 but they're dumping out of Howard's show like crazy today, and he's just losing his mind. And here we are on XM Satellite Radio doing whatever the hell we want, and it's driving him absolutely nuts. And I love it. Mm. Absolutely love it. Interesting. He wants to walk off the show. He can't do his show anymore, but he has something called a contract. Mm -hmm. He's just losing his mind. Good there you luck go. to you. Good <laughs> luck to you. Have fun over there as we reinvent radio. <laughs> We get to reinvent radio, and then everyone else will follow us. To right, satellite radio. Come on over, everybody. Hoo hoo. You know how nice it is. Just even, well, even if it's not profanity, it's just content to be able to talk about whatever. Phone, oh, phone. Oh my god. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. No, get the phone. Who cares? Hello. And um, it's kind of hard to. Uh, I don't. I don't want to mm -hmm. talk while Ops talking because not yeah. only. I'm doing a radio show. I'll call you after the show. Oh, who is that? Oh, I can hear it almost. Me too. Okay. Bye. I can almost hear your uh, caller. There you go. Yeah. Your uh, your 44th enema's ready? All right. Good. <laughs> I hear that it was quite it was kind of like civil rights footage in your uh, in your ass last night. Is that what happened? Oh, yeah. Want to get into that? Of course we do. <laughs> civil rights. <footage. laughs> Howard's basically screaming that he's going to satellite radio in uh, in uh, in uh, 2006. Oh, really? <laughs> That's like 15 months away from now. Sounds like um, sounds like contract negotiations to me. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. See how much money Viacom coughs up to keep him. He'll go where the money is. There you go. Uh, yeah, I haven't dumped in four days. Really? Until last night, I had to uh, make myself dump. Now you I had to do something I've never done before in my life. What digits? And I'm gonna have to do it again after the show. 
Have you been putting digits in there trying to pull it out? Hell no, man. And I've heard that. Did you have to hire a gentleman to come over and hold on to your hips and put something in there to loosen it up a little bit? <laughs> oh, no. We've all done that a few times, haven't we? <laughs> Hell no. I had to get a couple enemas. Oh. Never done this before in my life. Oh. I had to do that when I was a kid, a little kid. Really? And I was like, yeah, like 11. It is the most humiliating thing you can do to yourself. What? Now, now you Give had yourself an enema? I never did it. You didn't have it administered by somebody? Who's going to... Is there a service for that? Yeah, it's called a dominatrix. They will... <laughs> they'll, I'm, they'll, they'll, I'm trying to help you. no. They'll put you on your hands and knees. They'll come over to a nurse outfit. They'll put that in. They'll make you hold it while they that do is, CMB. Okay. <laughs> let, 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 me, let, me, let me bring something up. All right. I do not get the nurse thing. You know, when I'm, I'm trolling through pornography on the internet, and I see, uh, you know, the, the girl in the little maid outfit... With the little skirt and stuff like that, and then the you know any uh, various strippers that wear their outfits and little things and Catholic school skirts, very cool, you know the the little Catholic school dress. And then you go by the girl with the white rubber nurse suit with the big mash X on her head from you know uh, World War Two medic emblem on her head. <laughs> nothing. This does nothing for me. I have to disagree. Uh, well, you are a disturbed, sick individual that likes <laughs> girls to dump on yeah, your what, chest. Well, what, who doesn't? I mean, you know, come on. You say that what, like it's it's callous, but I mean, we all enjoy a log on the chest. It shows you who's boss. You're right. I was mouthy. Drop one on there and straighten me out, miss. <laughs> the nurse thing is all about uh, like enemas. That's what it is. It's an enema. I have and and enemas aren't fun or sexy. My, They're disgusting. My favorite hooker ever is in Vegas. Her name is Megan, and she does a character called Nurse Pig. And this is true. <laughs> <laughs> she comes over with, and she puts on a nurse outfit, and she is so sexy. And uh, she gives me a golden shower, and she spits in my mouth, and then we do full service. And she's uh -huh. like, you like Nurse Pig giving you your medicine? And I do. I like when Nurse Pig gives me my medicine, and it's completely true. Nurse Pig gives you your medicine. Yeah. Yeah, she does, and it does help. Um, what does she do? Hello. Urinates on me and spits in my mouth, and, and, and then we have sex. True. And that's what she calls herself. Oh, my Nurse God. Pig. And she's, she's fantastic. She's absolutely yeah. fantastic. And that's what she considers giving you her, her medicine? That is, is my medicine. Urine? What else is medicine? Yeah, you get a golden uh, treat. Straightens so you what, right out. What can we do You about amaze that? me, man. I'm a pervert. I'm a real Every guy thinks you're a pervert. You really I'm are real. really... I think you, because you have an addictive personality, of yeah, course, little, yeah. and I think you're you're okay. completely addicted to uh, sex, which is fine. Nothing wrong with that. It seems like the, the, you know, the least harmful of the addictions, but it makes you such a sick, sick person. Dude, you don't understand how, let me, I'm not going to get graphic here. I don't want to get into my personal life, but <laughs> when, you're, when you're rinsing out your mouth after a sexual experience and you're worried about you just caught a tapeworm. You know, there's just something uh, inherently uh, wrong with uh, that. Oh. And this is no bit. No, no he loves no. he loves it. No, Norton doesn't do bits. <laughs> he loves it. It's funny you say that. You are <laughs> oh, sick, thank you. man. You're welcome. You're all right, man. Brought you your little breakfast. What did you I get? A little pop, pop tarts? tarts? I don't want them heated. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's something. I could not get that deep into um into the, that that sickness, the 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 taking leaks on you. Yeah. You like girl, and and how old are you when a girl first urinated on you, Jimmy? It's funny. Well, let's backtrack really quick. First time I realized I liked it when I was probably in second grade. And I used to pay this not pay her, but just get this girl to sit on my face because she would always wet her pants. So I liked the way it smelled. Mm -hmm. um, and the first time I ever experienced GS was probably when I was like 25 or something like that. Yeah. A girl I was dating used to uh, wet her panties for me and I would smell it. And um, this is true. <laughs> you are and then we started doing, I would lay a towel back and she would dribble a little and I would, <clears throat> I would swallow it. And I kind of mm -hmm. liked it and it became like a thing we did. And I'm sure now she's in a relationship somewhere just emotionally and mentally beat up. Oh, I'm certain. That I really am a wrecking ball. I just leave a human wreckage behind me. You know, I, I pissed on another human being. All right, go find the nice fella.
<laughs> they trust me. They fall. In, they fall in love. Girls you date. Not all girls, but girls you date. Uh-huh. And then you just have them do the worst, most reprehensible. And it's stuff. against their will, pretty much. But they do no, it. No, 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 no. Not. I'm not. I mean, you're pinning them down, saying "piss on me." I mean, but but they're. You know, they probably would rather not do it. Well, when they realize that. The, when they look down and they see the, the normal tricks they try on guys, which is the neck kissing and the, uh, do you want me to be naughty? When they look down and they realize my mule looks like a pig's tail. And then when they do something really filthy and they see the nice direction they get, I guess they put two and two together and realize, I'm yeah. going to bore this guy if I don't do something really dirty. Oh, my God. Look, it's I don't, amazing. I don't, He's far I'm a gone, I don't man. mess with kids. That does nothing for me. I don't mess with uh, animals. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not a monster, but with a girl, I'm, I'm monster. dirty. Monster. Yeah, you're a dirty guy. Huh? Dirty. Oh, by the way, can I can I just explain how I made Bob Kelly puke by rubbing my belly button and he sniffed it for two poker chips and then he <laughs> threw up in his toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Bob was also a compulsive, addicted sociopath, and we were playing poker, and I had two one dollar chips. I'm like, dude, will you sniff my belly button? He's like, I'm not smelling that. I'm like, come on, man, it's like grape jelly. He's like, I'm not smelling that. I'm like, I'll give you two bucks. He goes, you give me two chips. And I'm like, yeah. And then this idiot closes his eyes like he's about to have a wine tasting. <laughs> I, I get a nice dollop in there, and I hold it under oh. his nose, and he goes. Uh. And he runs to the bathroom, and he vomits in the toilet. And he's got, he picked up uh, uh, a Listerine because he said it got into his taste buds. So I actually, I'll show you guys on the break. I have a photo of Bob Kelly puking in his toilet because of my belly button. Stitch. What is in there that smells so bad? Uh, what was in that? Was it the night before I had scrapped on myself? And you know how you scrap and, it, and you wipe it out of your belly button and the next morning it stinks? Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Is it worse than the, the stuff be, behind uh, Voss's ear? I don't know. He said it That's was. You, the next time Voss comes into the studio, we all have to take a sniff. I've taken a bunch of them. I, dry, I didn't puke. I dry heaved, though. I, I, it's legendary. He'll never do it. Anthony will never do it? Never. No. Never. Anthony, you got to do it. No. It is horrific, the smell that comes from behind Why Voss's would I ear. want to smell that? Because it's hilarious. And why does it stink <laughs> no, behind Voss's ear? It's hilarious, though. <laughs> what? There was a whole bunch of us. It was uh, me, Adam Ferrara, uh, Rick, a bunch of us in a parking lot, all taking turns. It is the funniest thing you'll ever do well, in your life. It's not funny. It's disgusting. It is, it's truly disgusting. What's back there? But two people puked doing it. I was dry heaving, and you're laughing so hard because it smells so freaking bad. He's tricking everyone. He runs his finger up the crack of his ass no, no, oh, no, 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 no. He doesn't do the stink no. behind I've heard about this for years, and we I finally uh, uh, did the smell test, and it, it, it is horrendous. It's only behind one of his ears, and he'll <laughs> scrape it onto those little hands, which also look exactly like turtle feet. <laughs> those stupid doll hands of his. And, and like, he gets, like, a, a, a substance on the back of his finger. He's actually rubbed it on the table and then poured it. What water. is it? I, yeah, he had poured water. Like he'll he'll rub it on the table one time, and he poured water on it, and the water went around it like it will with oil. So it's some kind of an oil that he builds up behind oh, his ear. It's like a, a pussy boil or something. No, no, no. It's not that. I don't know. You you see? I don't know what it it's is. Disgusting. Whatever oh, it's it is. Foul. And why are you smelling it? Because I'm a team player. It's not about me. It's about the <laughs> team. I don't smell anything. People go here. Smell this. No fingers. And or anything. what is it going to take for you to do it? Because it's hilarious. I will never ever do it. It's well, hilarious. All right. Well, I will never do it. We'll have to keep you out of it then. But it is it is hilarious. If you can conjure it up in a lab artificially. Hey, look. All right. Listen. I got to take a dump. Oh. I'm dying. That's right. Get you me didn't all tell us up. about your um, well because he went off experience. on a, a great tangent. To be honest with you, I want to hear about your experience. Um. I just lost Getting an enema. I just lost the phones. Uh, there it is. Well, first of all, I had to dress like the Unabomber to go get it. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. You were all embarrassed. A hooded sweatshirt and uh, sunglasses. Went to the Dwayne Reed up on uh, Broadway in, uh, in the 70s there. Yeah. And then I walked around the store for literally 20 minutes, found where the enemas were. The, the, the aisle was busy with a, a parent and kids. So I had to wait for them to finish, and I, I tucked it in my sweatshirt. Then I bought about, uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 other things. Then I had to wait for the register that had absolutely no one around. Mm -hmm. I, I found a, a lady that barely spoke English, so I thought that was okay. And then I just threw all my stuff on the counter and uh, bought the enema uh, um, along with uh, more cold medicine and tissues and mouthwash. I, all this stuff just to distract that I'm getting the enema. Mm -hmm. And then I, I go home. And I felt like a rape victim in the shower because <laughs> that was the only that was the only place I figured you could do it, right? In the shower? Yeah, it, in the it's bathtub. probably safe to do it. Yeah, because you don't want that stuff uh, getting everywhere. So, 
so I run the the shower water to get the bathtub warm. Oh. So I'm laying, <laughs> I'm laying down because the were you on your back in the tub? I was yeah on my back in the tub that was ice cold. So I had to get, you know run the shower water. Oh. So the shower water is pelting me. And then I, uh, yeah, I lifted my legs up onto the side of the tub and and oh. minister, and minister the, oh. <laughs> the, the. I was humilified. Humilified. I was humilified <laughs> by the whole thing. It humilified me. My sister's name's humilified. I, it was brutal. How did you? Um... <laughs> and then you make diarrhea, basically. I never did this before. So now you squirt. You, you inserted the tube into your into your your boyish little backside. Yeah. <laughs> Your your blonde hair is wet. You're laying in the tub. <laughs> yeah, with your legs. Yeah. Trying to make this sound sexy, you creep. Well, I'm talking to you. I'm trying to be your friend. I'm helping you. Out. Yeah, your, the... your abs are, are glistening with the tub water. <laughs> That's right. And the water was bouncing off my uh, yeah. off my stomach. Your, the beads. Your wispy golden blonde ass hairs are damp, <laughs> and you put the. <laughs> the so you can't of... talk like this on regular oh, radio. No, don't say ass hair. That's too descriptive. <laughs> you can't even say enema on regular radio. You no. can't say insert on regular radio. You can't say enema even if you're describing what Michael Powell needs to relax him. And everyone laughed when they said, Opie and Anthony are going to XM Satellite Radio. I no, didn't laugh. We understand the future. I didn't Right. Laugh. We understand what's going on. And I don't know if, if I'm correct in, in, in this, but when we were kids, didn't something like happen after Halloween one year and we were all like constipated badly? With, I mean, with really backed bad. up with candy corn. Really bad. <laughs> And, and that waxy candy corn. And we went to like Dr. Fuchs, right? Or a pediatrician back then? That was the first and only time that I had to deal with constipation. Did you have an enema? No. no. I did. No, no, no. Anthony didn't, but I had to. She it was Ow. like doctor's orders. And I was scared. I was scared Essels to do it. And um Uncle Joe no, I'm serious, man. This is this is all coming back to me now, Jimmy. And Uncle Joe Talk slower. Uncle Joe had to <laughs> had to sit on me. While mom administered oh, the animal. Of course, he had to sit on you. He had to sit on me. I, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hold still for it. But after you're done with that, you know, you're supposed to like hold it inside hold for a while. And... Hell no, man. That was the most <laughs> uncomfortable feeling the ever. The most disgusting thing. I had, I've ever been I, I, I had to go. Uh, I, I did two yesterday. Let me ask you. I don't, I, two. And it still came out like silly putty. There's so much <laughs> crap in me, it's, it's not even funny. Did you look, lay on your back my, when you administered it? Look at my stomach. This is all crap. Look at that stomach. Look don't. at that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you have a, you you, you actually know, you, Obi has very slender abs. He's built like a You know I'm in pretty slimmer. good shape in general. Look I'll at this. Say. That is all crap in my belly that you has really, to come out. You really, really have disgusting. to take a dump when your body shape changes. That's Dude, an indicator. I was looking <laughs> around my apartment to see what I could like like uh, used to kind of loosen things up. Stop it. Like you yeah. I'm, not, I'm not kidding. I'm it, it's killing me. I'm getting headaches cuz it's toxic. I know what you can do. What? I've done this before and I'm not this is not a bit. Go for a colonic. I'll tell you where to go. Fuck no, No, man. listen to me. Listen, it helps. They put the tube up in you. It's very painful for a while, uh, like for the first five seconds, because my, my little hiney is tight. They put it in. Oh. They shoot the warm water in. It will clear you out. I went. I was going for an eight-step treatment, but I only went through three of them. And while you're eight getting it. steps. It cleans out. You can help to be colon cancer stuff. That's what I'm worried about. So what will happen is when, it, when the That's what he's worried about. He's worried he about colon. Brazilian hookers yeah, exactly. without rubbers. You oh, should yeah, be worried it, about the hip. That can't happen The high me. five. So what, <laughs> man, I'm the ninja. So what's happening is as the water's shooting up to you, the lady gives you something. It feels like a, like almost like the, a floor waxer, but it's small. Like, argh, it vibrates. And you hold it over your stomach, I guess, to like shake the logs loose that are in there. And oh. your system, you're watching it go down a tube. A clear tube. Hell you, no, You have bro. to watch your... You can. You don't have to. I watch. Like, it was a great... Better than most things Hollywood puts out. Looks like the tool video. Yeah, <laughs> that right. guy pushing the crap <laughs> through the tube. I was going to say, it looks like any Nine Inch Nails video. Yeah. Oh, one word, cure. Suppository. <sighs> oh, that's... See, that's those. what happened now when I was a kid. Yeah. That's uh, what happened. Uh, so they you get, had stuff stuck up in your butt. It was a suppository with, like, the doctor took a big finger full of Vaseline first <laughs> and just went in there. And then took the suppository and put it in there and was waiting, you know. I, I By the time I got to uh, my grandmother's house, I, I had to go to the bathroom. I went in there. It, it I, I was a kid. And what came out shouldn't have been. It looked like a stegosaurus had taken a dump <laughs> in, in there. It was just huge. It hurt me. That, <laughs> Remind me someday to tell me. you the suppository dominatrix story. I won't tell it now. But hey, I, that could be a good tease. I like we do that. have to take a break. All right. And I got to take a dump. Godspeed. Yeah.
Good luck hit, to hit, you. Hit, hit, hit. Prepare to be wowed. What knockers? Okay, okay, fine. Wow. Coming up next on Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton sings. Forget me not, your sightless taunt, your dog just shit on my rug. Thought that was pretty fucking funny, didn't you? How's that for a sketch? The Opie and Anthony Show. You don't do sketches, stupid. I was walking down the street, and some construction guy was shouting at me, Hey, show me your cans! So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors, and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits looked great. Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the ONA virus. <laughs>